Hi Taurus, thanks for showing up. This is for anyone Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a while or you've been watching these videos on and off for a while, you might remember the style of reading. It's called Stop, Drop, Roll. So um, I'm bringing it back. We, they never went anywhere except for to the Patreon site, but I'm bringing it back to YouTube now just because um, for this reading, because 2016 was a lot of hard lessons learned. Um, maybe we even resisted some of those and they were forced upon us. And, um, you know, it was tough. So how do we kind of do our final goodbye to those? What should we stop doing? What should we drop from our life? And um, what should we roll with? into 2017 so that now with 2017 being a one year in numerology, all of these new beginnings, new blessings coming in, like what are the things that we started doing that are really, really beneficial that are going to help us be open to receive, okay? So Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what should we stop doing? Oh, three things. Um, stop being a slut. No, you have to remember <laughs> that some of... No, this is a general reading, so it's not saying all Tauruses are, but maybe one of you is, okay? Stop. Knock it off. Um, and, you know, this card, this, this is something I want to tell you about tarot reading. Now, every once in a while, I get comments like, hey, that's not the way I would have interpreted them. Well, great. I am so glad that everybody has different talents and different ways that they read because it gives us a more, um, like, a more complete picture. Right? But, so I don't always get that when I pull this card, but because I read intuitively, I channel. Some of you can see this, and some of you maybe can't yet, but um, I have two angels here, okay? And I have one that's very serious, and um, she's kind of stern and motherly, and she's like, let's be serious. And then I have another one who's a little bit silly and rambunctious, and that's where this comes from, where she's like, don't be a slut. Okay, um, I appreciate her. She's fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's where I get these messages from. So I don't want you to say, like, hey, that's not right. Because you know what? When I pull the cards, this is the right message um, in my style for what I need to get across to you. Now, it is a general reading. And as I told you, this doesn't apply to everyone. Now, one thing I want you to know is I'm writing things down here. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I've been getting a buttload of number messages in private readings as well as these readings here and um, since I might get so many of these as we go through the reading I definitely uh, want to just do them all at one time and go through them okay so anyway um, so yeah some of you need to kind of just like slow your roll with that now some of you are recently single um, and so you know it's natural to want to try new things to live it up a little bit kind of um, force yourself to move on but maybe now, coming into 2017, slow your roll, okay? Now, um, the other thing with this is I'm getting this, like, in a different way where it's, like, stop making romantic choices based on what other people think. Now, this could be, um, like, saying, well, my parents, you know, kind of arranged for me to marry this person. And I don't know, that's what I want. Maybe you need to be assertive with that. Um, the other thing is now, I'm, some of you are being overindulgent, okay? And that could be in your sex life. It could also be um, that you're being a little bit selfish or, but I don't really take it so much as selfishness. I take it more as um so many changes have happened right now, and so you're putting a lot of emotion into things, people, circumstances, places, where maybe um, typically you'd be more cautious, okay? You wouldn't go all in on things, people, circumstances so hard with so much gusto in the past. So again, it's a message of slowing down, okay? Because it was working for you for a little bit. But right now, it's like, okay, it's not going to keep working out well for you if you continue with those behaviors. Now, I'm not saying that Tauruses are reckless and you've lost control of your life, but wherever this is kind of resonating for you, because it's going to resonate different for everybody, um, go with that, okay? So maybe you've been spoiling your children too much, like over the holidays. It could be anything like that. It's just kind of like take a step back, slow it down a little bit. Um, but it says keep being fair. Keep doing what you think is right. Keep doing um, 
following your intuition. Okay, you see that eyeball there? Like when things are cloudy, when things are murky, you've done a really good job of going with your gut instincts. And um, oftentimes, Taurus can be more logically thinking. And so that was like a really big lesson that you learned in 2016. And now you're applying that and you're doing a great job of that. But um, what it's saying is, you know, if you know that you're being unfair, if you know that something's not just, you know, um, stop engaging in supporting those behaviors, okay? Now, what do we need to drop from our life, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Oh, my goodness, you've got this number message that's shown up for, like, every person ever recently. <laughs> we'll get to that one. Okay. What do you need to drop from your life? Um, the two of swords. So indecision. It's like some of you maybe have made decisions, but you haven't carried them out or expressed what you're doing. It's a good thing to do. And especially if it's about your work or home situation. So some of you have decided, you know what, I don't want to be with my partner anymore. I'm moving out, but you haven't told them yet. You're just kind of like looking online for a new apartment. It's time. It's time to tell them. Um, or maybe if it, if you're like looking for a new job and then you've gone on some interviews, um, it's just time to make a decision. If you're like waiting for different offers to come in, it's time to make that choice and carry it through. Okay. So drop the hesitation there because um, you can't, because there's like financial blessings and there are blessings as far as like your day to day life and your structure, your stability, which is really important for Taurus. Um, your predictability of things, like there's blessings to come with that if you can just execute a choice. Now, what do you need to roll with in 2017? Um, the death card in reverse. That, then, okay, so, you know, oftentimes it's like one door entirely closes so we can step through a new one. Now, it's saying right now many of you have one door, one foot in this door, and one foot on this side of the door. But that's actually something that needs to happen right now. And so the way that I would describe this is, for example, maybe you are leaving a partner, okay? And you were married for a long time. You have mutual children. So you need to keep that door open. That's not one you can entirely close because you have to communicate about the children. Does that make sense? They're going to be with you this day. They're going to be with me this day. Um, you're going to pay for half of the medical insurance and I'm going to pay for half of the medical insurance, something like that. So um, it's saying don't go slamming them. <laughs> keep them part way open. And this could also be in regards to career. So maybe you're moving from one position to you know a position at a different company, but you can still work there part time on weekends or nights, keeping your foot in the door over there. Okay, does that make sense? I used to um, teach, so I worked in a clinic, and then when I left to become a teacher, I would go back to the clinic um, two days a month. That sort of a thing. And I do feel like for um, some of you, this is about practical issues. So it is about like child rearing or your work, your money, your home. Okay. Now, um, is there anything else that Tauruses need to know for 2017? And, um, okay, so I have the King of Swords in re reverse. And so this is just saying like even though you may have all the solutions, all of the answers, all of the knowledge – um, maybe not everybody's ready to hear that yet. So you don't just sometimes keep your mouth closed. You know, when you see that other people um, have doubts, maybe they're venting to you and you have really great advice, but it's just not time for them to hear it yet. Okay. And, um, you know, you don't have to plan so much for the long term. Right now, remember we were talking about overindulgence in the very beginning? Um, you should still definitely have fun, okay? You should still do the things you enjoy without thinking so much about how they are going to affect, like, the grand scheme of your life, your life plan. But then it's also saying that, um, like, there are going to be challenges and blessings that come, along the way as you progress through your life. So like to have a plan that is so focused and precise might not do you any favors because you have to have that flexibility as surprises pop up in your life. Now, your number messages are the following. 
Um, you're accurately hearing and following your divine guidance. So remember that card where there was a cloud and then it had the eyeball in it? about following your intuition, keep doing that. Keep paying attention to messages, feelings that you have, your gut instincts. Go with those because it is serving you well. Now the next one is the one I was telling you that everyone seems to be getting lately. And it just says to keep your thoughts and your focus centered upon your prayers and spirituality as you go into new areas of your life. Because we are making huge changes, leaving lots of big things in 2016, and then having all of this new stuff come in 2017. So the more that you focus your prayers and your positive thoughts on that, the better and easier it's going to be for you, lovey bugs. Um, the next one, again, is going to be about stability. And it just says that, you know, Everything's working out exactly the way it's supposed to. It's all part of God or Allah's plan. So um, just it brings blessings for everybody involved, even if we can't see them right now. Okay, so let go and have faith. Just kind of let God, you know, steer with this. And then the final message, I think is going to be about your money and career finances. It says everything that you need is supplied to you in abundance. So you just have to be open to receive everything that God is wanting to send your way. Okay. So that is kind of going along with that thought of, um, you know, giving thanks and just trusting that everything's going to work itself out. So it says that this kind of abundance though, it can come um, as ideas it could come as actual resources. It could come as people who are offering to help you. So definitely say yes. If somebody says, hey, um, can I do this thing for you? And you're like, no, I don't want to burden you. No, no, no. They wouldn't offer if it was a burden. It makes them feel good to help you. So say yes. You're honoring them. Okay? It, you're allowing them to help you, which makes them feel good about themselves, but also helps you. So you are being even more altruistic than you thought, right? Say yes. Um, and it says just notice notice these little offers of abundance from the universe. Um, be open to receive them. And then see that those are the answers to your prayers. And just give thanks for that, okay? So I will see you soon for the January 2017 love readings and general readings. And until then, mwah, bye Capricorn. Or er, Taurus. Fuck. I probably said Capricorn like three times. I meant Taurus. Earth signs. Blonde. Sorry. Bye.